All right, this is a wonderful breakfast sandwich or it's great for a sweet and savory snack. So all you need is an everything bagel. Uh, I personally like the whipped cream cheese spread, but you can also do regular cream cheese, sriracha and honey. All right, so first I made my sauce, which is just gonna be a one-to-one -one ratio of sriracha and honey. You can change this depending on what spice or sweetness level you like. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open my bagel and I'm just gonna start spreading it kind of like you would with cream cheese. And I'm gonna do that at both sides as well. And just kind of spread it out evenly. All right, then I'm going to place it, this is a toaster oven, so we're just gonna place it in here for about a minute or two, let it get a little bit toasty, and then we'll add our cream cheese. What's our temp look like? Uh, that is gonna be 400. 400. Now we're going to be making our cream cheese spread. So we're just gonna take a little bit of the cream cheese. Mima suggested that we add a red pepper jelly, and I believe this is a raspberry pepper jelly. Mm. And so I'm gonna attempt to add that to my cream cheese and see how it tastes. May or may not work out, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> And now you can see we got it all mixed up and ready to go on our bagel. Can you use regular jam with that? I wouldn't recommend it. The answer is you can make it however you'd like. All right. And as you can see, it's gotten a little bit toasty. I like mine more on the soft side. I'm gonna grab me a hot plate. I'm gonna start putting my cream cheese on it as well. We're gonna take our raspberry pepper jelly and we're gonna put it on top. And look at that. Sous chef coming in with a plate. <laughs> All right. All right. And so that everyone can taste test it, we're gonna cut it into, I guess, fifths. We'll cut it into six just to be safe. Calvin dares to try the sandwich. I am dares to try it. You might want to open it up. Pretty good. A little kick to it. It's good. Mmm. Really good. What do you think, Mima? A little spicy. That's real good. So I really was wanting to make something that kind of brings me back to my childhood. So one of the things I used to have in the cafeteria was a peanut butter and honey sandwich. So that's what we'll be making today. Um, basically all you really need for it is some peanut butter. This is about three fourths of a cup to one cup. Um, optionally, you can also have some butter on hand and some king syrup. Um, but really all you need for this is just peanut butter and honey. So. so one of the reasons I'm actually able to make this today is because I actually had no idea there's a little couple tricks in there and I'm thankful that Meemaw has worked in food services and is able to kind of give me some pointers to help make this delicious meal again. I, work, I worked in it 25 years. Now we didn't put the little soft butter in it, but today I think he's gonna put a little bit of soft butter and it makes it even smoother. You were the cafeteria manager at where? Gateway Elementary. Nice. And your food was actually good. <laughs> Can't say much about Chapin Elementary, but um, <laughs> but awesome. So uh, basically what we're gonna do here is we can just go ahead, I already have some uh, cut up butter right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and plop that in right there. Um, and then we're just gonna slowly kind of add in some honey and a little bit of king syrup. I like to do, I found that about 70 to 80% honey is the best. And if you wanna add a little king syrup, you can. At school, but, we just used honey. But at school today, they just use honey. So full honey is totally optional. Um, I'm just gonna add a little king serpent of mine, but you can make it however you'd like. So I add just a little bit to start with, 
and then we'll basically just mix that in and then we'll um we'll just kind of taste test it and see how it comes out and see if we need to add or subtract or whatever we need to do. So that's it. We just kind of went ahead and mixed it up and you kind of want it that kind of gloopy kind of consistency. You don't want it as like thick as peanut butter. Um, so we're just going to do a little taste test and... Mm. You can eat out of the spoon because that's yours. Yeah, this one's just mine. So we're, we're, we don't have to worry about germs here. But I think I'm going to add a little more honey and I think I'm going to add a little bit more uh, or a little king syrup in there. Um, so just a little more honey in there. And then some of this stuff. And this is fully just a tasting as you go kind of, there's no real measurements here. We just kind of, you know, figure it out as we go along and that's okay. As Bob Ross would say, there's uh, just happy little mistakes or happy little accidents. That's what it was. It was there's no mistakes, just happy little accidents. We're right here folks. <laughs> I'm gonna do another taste test real quick. Mm. Dude needs more honey. Sorry. What happened? We both over here and she got it. She got it earlier. She let me try. It. I was saying this stuff. And, yeah. and I cool. So I, I'm going back in with the honey again. I'm just I like mine with a lot of honey. It's a great natural uh, sweetener, but. Um, I think that that should probably be enough. So I'm gonna mix this up and then I think we'll, we'll call it there and I'll finish mm -hmm. on. <laughs> don't record me. I don't want them to be like, why is he adding so much honey? That's pretty much it. Can y'all wait long enough for me to check? It'll be spaghetti. I used to like the pizza actually in the nugget. Hello, the little rectangle pizzas? Yeah. Uh, I've seen those recipes down on YouTube, good. by the way. We might have to call that. Somewhere. There was one, and it would come in a package, and it was a pizza pocket, but it was not like the like you can't find it in stores. I don't know where they got it. It was so good. All right, cool. So um, basically, before I put this on here, this is pretty much good to go. Um, if you like yours a little more thick, maybe just not a, add as much honey, or maybe don't add any butter, you'll get a thicker consistency. If you like yours more creamy or like gloopy, like I I like mine, where it's kind of more just kind of falling off like that. I would recommend adding some more butter and uh, some more honey, but this is pretty much good to go. So we'll just spread it on there. That's a new term, by the way, gloppy. Gloppy. Gloopy, gloppy. Gloopy. 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 Mm -hmm. That's a very technical term <laughs> for honey peanut butter. The garlic's over here, honey. All right, just spread that around like that. Do that and then we'll cut it. I was gonna say, you're going straight in, you're gonna cut it. Now, important thing here, guys, whenever you make a sandwich, cut diagonally, never cut this way, always cut diagonally. That's just the way you gotta do it. Just a little rule of thumb. It's another. But do whatever you want. It's another <laughs> tip from Calvin. Tip from Calvin. It's called Calvin's tips. Calvin's tips. Mm. Now let's, uh, let's go back to first grade. So good. All right, this is my wife, Avery. She's that sounds so funny, shot. wife. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're getting married? <laughs> Very good. Mm -hmm. Look at that. All right. Better than regular peanut butter. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make some avocado toast. This is so, good for breakfast or anytime? Anytime. I eat it for breakfast. But this is everything Italian bread. You can use regular bread or whatever you want. French toast? I mean, French bread. Rather. French bread, yeah, whatever. So I'm just gonna cut it and toast it to start. Do not saw your finger off. We don't <laughs> want that. Be better at cutting bread than me. <laughs> you can butter it a little too if you'd like. Sounds like a job for a coven. So we have three pieces buttered. Butter and we're gonna toast. And what kind of butter did you use, Avery? Well, we use this, but you can use whatever you want. Romulan Brown. Brown is an Ellenberg staple. It's yogurt made over butter. Mm -hmm. Same temp, 400. In you go. Um, <laughs> yep. Yes. 
Okay, so we're just gonna cut the avocado in half. You do it long ways, all the way around. Then you give it a twist. And then you kind of just, you can cut it in slices. So be careful. And then all the way around. And it should just kind of come out. So the pit's a little tricky. There's different ways to get it out. I usually just kind of cut around it, to be honest, the best that I can. And then if you kind of squeeze from the bottom, it comes out. It might smush the avocado a little, but that's okay. It'll taste the same. It looks a little bad, but it's gonna taste great. Okay, so our toast is all toasted, ready to go there. So, I'm gonna grab your piece here. And I usually just take the slices and kind of line it up here on your toast. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then you can add tomato or whatever you like. We're gonna do with some tomato. And then some everything bagel seasoning. You can add a little salt and pepper too to the tomato. Now this kind of fall apart a little bit, so I'm actually gonna just spread the avocado on this spread here. And when you can add whatever you want, we always got some egg here. And you can put that everything bagel seasoning on there, salt, pepper, whatever you want. Garlic powder is also good. Literally whatever you like. a little bit more avocado on this one and do it kind of like the first one with some tomato the big tomato and then the everything bagel seasoning and salt and pepper or i think i already said this but garlic powder is good too Hot, we'll taste this. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be the taster. I've never had egg avocado toast. Ten out of ten. Egg really good. Avocado toast. Mm. Inventing stuff here. Yeah, that was good. Alright, me might as well oh. taste test the avocado toast with a tomato. That's wonderful. <laughs> Of these before. Very good. That bagel seasoning is really good, and the avocado is, is a good oil for your good fat. Try it, you'll like it. Mm. 